basically there's no way they can tell who what what our intake of fluoride is from other sources so they're medicating everyone the same they don't know how many people um, ingest fluoride through medication or through tea actually is, is a big factor now the pro fluoridation side will use the CDC in America for saying that they, they say it's great for, for or it's great for people's teeth you know and we should fluoridate but what they don't say is that the CDC actually say that it's, it's beneficial only in topical uh, application so only when it's on the teeth it's not true system systemic ingestion and also in in one of the reports I read from the CDC it says since the early days of com community water fluoridation the prevalence of dental caries has declined in both communities with and communities without fluoridated water in the United States. So basically that's saying it didn't really matter. Times changed, dental health improved, um, nutrition improved. Do you want to have five minutes, Lord Mayor? Five minutes to propose a motion. Jeez, calm down, will you? This is an extremely dangerous toxic chemical. I've, in my past life I've had occasion to investigate uh, the toxicity of chemicals. So it's a byproduct that comes out of the fertilizer industry. That's where this chemical came from in the United States of America. Um, it's worth saying that water, the reason you see it, the, the teeth is because the teeth are a bone. So you can take it that the fluoride is being deposited in every other bone in the body and that's just not visible. You can see it in the tooth because it's a visible bone. So I certainly would err on a precautionary basis on not including it in the public water supply. I myself have a niece who doesn't eat sweets, brushes her teeth after every meal and has, to, has had to undergo two extractions as a five-year-old under anaesthetic. Now if it's not the sweets and it's not our diet and she brushes her teeth after every meal then what is it? It only, it only comes back to the fluoride in the water. So. Well, that's my, my opinion, and I have a niece that had to have it done. Yeah. All right? It's not bullshit. Go ahead, Lord Mayor. Go ahead, Kate. Well, Lord Mayor, I would like two minutes, because it's not like I'm speaking here all the time about things I know nothing about. This is actually something I know a lot about. Um, well, it's, it's not an exception, really, at this stage. I mean, I don't think anyone would mind me delaying my minute. Anyway, anyway. Um, as, as I'm sure some of you know, I, I am a chemist, and um, one thing I would say from the off is that there has been no long-term trial or meta-analysis showing any ill effects of fluoride on people. This is what scientists and medical people base their, their findings on, the basis on sound long-term medical trials. Just to cut open a few of the arguments. Um, Councillor Clarkson there um, says that, um, he doesn't know what happens um, when fluoride goes through the body. Well, um, nothing is the answer to that. Um, there's a list of dentists he has. Well, there's actually one million de dentists worldwide that support fluoridation of water. So I doubt his list is longer than a million. Um, the science has been wrong. He brought up something about the dangers of thalidomide, which I don't know what has anything to do with that. Um, and then we had Councillor McGinley saying that fluoride was extremely dangerous and is a byproduct of fertilizer. Fluor fluorine is a gas that forms a salt, and it is not a, well, it can be a byproduct of fertilizer, but it, we don't find it from fertilizer and put it into water. The endocrine effects and fluoridases and its ill effects on teeth. Um, and it is only relevant for children. Um, fluoride prevents caries, but also once um, there is decay starting, it actually helps um, repair the decay. So um, that's rubbish too. Um, there is, there's, there's no evidence that there are ill effects on the bones um, for, of, for fluoride. Um, we have to take into account that the experts, all the dentists from the major dental schools in Ireland support water fluoridation. The people that will be most affected if we remove fluoride from water are people from poorer areas. And it costs 3.5 million per year in this country to add, water, to add fluoride to the water. If you just took out the 15-year-olds and stopped them having fluoridated water, it would cost 5 million to repair the damage to their, their teeth. So I find it 
amazing that somebody from a Sinn Féin party or from the People Before Profit Brigade would want dentists to earn money by repairing more teeth and to adversely affect the children of the poorer children of this country. I find it bizarre. I find it bizarre.